So I guess I started uh, really getting into photography when um, my friend Andre brought me back a camera from London. He took a trip over there in the summer and um, he like surprised me. I, I didn't even know he was going to bring me one. And then, because my old one broke and then after that I kind of gave, not gave up, but like, I was like putting it off. Most of these photos are pretty uh, old. Like they're probably like a year or two old because like I kind of stopped taking photos for a while because like I just like got too wrapped up in like what was going on in my life. Like I don't know. And also the main reason I also like started taking a lot of these photos was because like skateboarding I got injured. Like I rolled my ankle, which I keep rolling my ankle all the time, but that shit puts me out for like a month or two or three months out. Eventually like I stopped skateboarding for like probably like three months at a time and then I, I found like a way to still hang out with my friends because usually we're all just, just skating so I find a way to get back into them, you know. I feel like what I like about my photos is that it's usually like very personal moments to me. Yeah, for the most part, like for the most part as you can see it's just like me being with my friends or like taking a photo and like I, I wanted like to capture something that like was really intimate to me like for example this photo of like Sarah like she didn't even know I was taking a photo or anything it's not like staged or like post or I get like too caught up in like I'm very, I'm, like I'm, I'm my own word worst critic you know sure. like, I just like I wanted to be like something I put out I, I wanted to be good but then I'm like, should I even really care that, that, that much about it? I, it's very self-conflicting sometimes. Mm. Even with skateboarding, like, you're like filming a trick and then you're doing that shit for like hours and you're killing yourself, you're busting your ass and then you see the clip and then people are telling you it looks cool but then you're just like, nah, I want to redo it tomorrow. For <laughs> sure, you know? And then another five more hours go by tomorrow. Yeah. It's an experience for sure. I feel like I'm the way I am now because I had to go through all that shit, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, like, speaking about yourself, like, and all the show, mm -hmm. like, how do you feel people reacted to it? How do you feel about yourself? You know? True. I feel like it was pretty crazy to be part of, like, especially being part of, like, all these talented people around, you know? It's kind of, it's not intimidating, but it's kind of like, damn, that's, like, really sick, you know? Like, everybody here is super talented, so I thought it was cool. Like, I thought it was cool enough that, uh, you know, Sade was like, yo, you should be part of it. I felt, like, really, like, you know, like, oh, damn, like, Sade actually fucks with my shit. I'm not just his friend. You know? <laughs> but, yeah. That's it. So, yeah. But I felt like, I mean, I hope people liked it. I had some people, like, come up to me saying they were cool, so. Yeah, yeah so definitely. people did like it. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah, it was sick. For sure, it's good to get that positive feedback, too. Yeah. Know? Do you feel like it changed the way you look at your art? Um, in like a way where I should like probably put it out more, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah you should definitely put it out Yeah, more. definitely. I really like your stuff and I know everybody else in here does too. Cool, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. But thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs>